spoke with many parents who said that their children were unaware of this type of behavior. This type of behavior was against the law. Which is no excuse, but each of their girls said if they would have seen this type of behavior, they may have joined in because they did not realize it was considered a slight. I feel it is not just the victims which need counseling, but the pre sex offenders, pre sex offenders, pre -sex -offenders as well, because they are children who are considered juveniles in this alleged case, and they too need counseling. I know that they have counseling for adult sex offenders, but I'm not aware and have not heard of counseling for juveniles that have this type of alleged. There are so many questions that have yet to be answered. 
but I hope that you understand that our hands at this point have been tied to allow the justice system to move forward and provide our students an equal opportunity and the privacy that they all deserve. The alleged behaviors of a group of individuals will be evaluated by the judicial, judicial system, as well as by our district code, student code of conduct. But we must have the facts before we can move forward. We must have all the right information before we can make decisions that may impact our, impact our children in the long run. The culture of intimidation described in the media is not acceptable and will not be tolerated in our school district. But every single student that's involved in this situation, whether direct or indirect, have the right to go through a judicial process as well as a district process as well. I understand that that causes frustration not getting answers as quickly as we want and that we need to heal. But what I can tell you is that we are moving forward as a school district and doing everything possible to provide due process to all children because they deserve that. Whether they are the victim or whether they are the perpetrator, all children deserve due process and the privacy, the privacy that they're entitled to. I ask that as a community we come together and do what we do best. I ask that we embrace our core values and hold each other, each other accountable to them. During this difficult time, rather than pointing fingers or judging one another, Let's, let's respect those directly and indirectly impacted by these allegations. I ask that our faith ministries include our students, our families, our staff, and our community as a whole in their daily prayers. The Board of Trustees and I are here to serve you. That is our job. And when we serve you, we represent serving our children of our community. I assure you that we are doing everything possible to build a sense of normalcy for our students while they walk the halls on a day-to-day -day basis after this tragedy. We have our lines of communication directly linked to our kids. We know that you as a community entrust your children to us, and that's something that we take very seriously. Tonight, I pledge to you and to the authorities that we will continue working diligently and cooperatively to ensure that every single child receives the attention that in this case, he deserves. We must be respectful of the process. What I can assure you is that we will implement our process with integrity and just for every single student impacted within. Parents, as we continue to rebuild what has been broken, I ask that you have serious conversations with your children and assume nothing. Take this as a lesson in life for all of us. Because others outside of our community will take this as a lesson to talk to their students and their children. It's unfortunate that the lesson is coming from Laverne ISD. But what I will say is that we will take this step forward to assume nothing and to continue educating our children on a day-to-day -day basis for what is yet to come as well as for what could be. 
Let's take this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Let's take this as an opportunity to ensure that our, our students and that our children have an example that we can use to educate them with a lifelong lesson. We have no control of what's happened in the past, but we do have control of what happens in the future. I am here to serve you as a superintendent. Our board of trustees is here to serve you as community members. And I assure you that we will do everything possible to continue supporting and healing our children. Thank you. We're going to take a 15 minute break. We're going to take a 15 minute break right now.